Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to do printer setting for KOT or the kitchen order ticket. So for that first of all we need to go inside the setup button. Inside setup we have to find the module business location. If you don't find it over here you can go here and click on the search button and write business and you will get it right over here. Click on business locations. If you have multiple business locations, select the business location for which you want to do the printer setting. Since we have only one, it's already selected. We are going to open it on edit mode. For doing the KOT settings in your system, we have to click on additional receipt printer settings. As soon as you click on this, additional receipt printer manager will open. After this, you need to go and click on add printer. As soon as you click on add button, the add a new printer setting will open. We have to name it. We can name it anything as per your wish. Since we are doing KOT settings, we are going to name it KOT. And then, just below it, you'll see a checkbox that says create as order token. We have to check this checkbox since we are doing an order token setting. As soon as you click, you'll see there are three more checkbox that appears over here. Create with invoice, create with estimate, create with advanced booking. You can check either one of them or all three. For now, I'm just clicking on create with invoice. So as soon as the invoice will be printed or saved, a KOT will also be generated at the same time. Then comes order token settings. So suppose you have a customer that orders food item or a drink item from different counter. In the kitchen, you may have various counter to prepare various food or beverages items. So the KOT should have the details of the order as well as the counter. For this, we use the collection items here. Suppose for example, I take Chinese. So you have a different Chinese food item counter. So on the KOT, we can print Chinese so that it makes it very clear that the particular KOT that has been just printed needs to go to the Chinese counter for preparation. Then comes the printer setting. So First is additional receipt printer format. So which format do you want to print? We have different QOT formats already made in our system. You can select any one of these or you can get it customized from our end also. For now, I'm just selecting QOT laser. Then comes the printer. You must have installed a printer that prints the QOT. So you have to select that particular printer over here. Then comes the number of additional receipt to print. So what is the number of QOT that you want to be printed? I'm just leaving it to 1, you can change it to 2, 3, as many numbers as you want. Then comes print on save. Whenever the invoice is getting saved, a QOT needs to be generated. So we will just check on this. If you don't want to do it, you can leave it as blank. Then comes the SMS setting. So suppose you want to send an SMS to the customer or to somebody else like manager or some senior authority that this particular QOT has been generated. So you can do the settings over here. So additional receipt SMS format. You can find the formats over here with which we have. Whichever you want to send as an SMS. If you don't want any one of these, you can get it customized from our end also. Suppose I'm selecting this one for now and then I'm checking this one. Send SMS to customer. So when you are making a bill, you have to give the customer's mobile number in the details and then the SMS will be going to that customer on that particular number. Then also there is a checkbox which says send SMS on save. Whenever you're saving an invoice, a SMS will be sent with this KOT SMS text format to a particular number. So that number you have to mention over here. Then click on create. Then we have to close this window and update the business location window. So this way a KOT setting has been done properly in your system. Hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Thank you for watching.